Good evening, everyone. A man who is alleged to have betrayed Canada and who made a career out of going undercover is tonight going public with his side of the story. William Eicher is accused of being a foreign agent for China and charged under the Security of Information Act, the law used to prosecute alleged spies in this country. Separated from his wife and two daughters, aged 7 and 11, who remain in Asia, he is now living with his sister in Niagara Falls, required to check in weekly with police as he awaits trial. CTV's Judy Trin sat down with the former Mountie exclusively and starts us off tonight. When he was a Mountie, William Miker infiltrated terror groups and drug cartels by going undercover as a money launderer. He was put on an assassin's hit list with a bounty on his head. Some people then would say that you are a master of deception. I'm a patriot, not a traitor. And I challenge almost anybody who'd be watching this uh, to, to put themselves at the kind of risks I've put for, for my country and for our allies. After retiring from policing in 2007, Miker moved to Hong Kong and became a cyber crime expert. The RCMP thinks he's been turned. They've charged Miker with breaking Canada's secrets law. It could come with a sentence of more than 10 years in prison. Miker is accused of using his knowledge and network to gather information for China to intimidate a Vancouver real estate tycoon. Are you a spy? No. In 2014, China launched an anti-corruption campaign known as Fox Hunt to track down fugitives hiding their money overseas. Canada even signed a treaty in 2016 agreeing to help China recover assets and share in the proceeds. While in Hong Kong, Miker spoke openly about his business, helping China recover more than $1 trillion in stolen money. We typically don't catch smart money launderers. We typically don't catch... Uh, smart criminals. We get lucky or we get informants. But by 2020, the RCMP was warning that China was using Fox Hunt to control its diaspora and silence critics. According to court documents, Miker's alleged offenses of foreign interference occurred between 2014 and 2019. After putting up a $250,000 bond, Miker got bail, but longs to be reunited with his wife and two daughters who remain in Asia. This is what I, I deal with every day when I talk to them. It's an appointment. I certainly don't want to be here. I want to be with my family. Micro's next court date is on April 22nd. At that time, his lawyer is going to make a motion to quash the charges against him based on jurisdictional grounds. Micro's alleged victim lives in Vancouver, but he's being tried in a Quebec court. Omar, investigators say Micro's roots in B.C. are too deep. Before he retired, he ran the Financial Crimes Division for that province. Judy, incredible insight. William Miker, as we know, was charged last July after an investigation that was launched two years before that. So what is he saying about why he is speaking out now? Well, Miker is frustrated with the slow pace of Canada's court system, and he wanted to go public because he wanted people to know that he came back voluntarily. He found out that he was under investigation and gone on a plane and arrived in Vancouver expecting to set the record straight. Instead, handcuffs were slapped on him. All right, Judy Trin in Ottawa tonight. Judy, thank you.